Hey boobs, welcome back to my channel. So the reason I called you all here today is to talk about the atrocities of an online company called Dolls Kill. Now if you've never seen one of my anti hauls, why not? being very honest and very real with you guys and using my platform to tell you guys the rights and the wrongs of alternative everything. No shade to anybody promoting them. This is just stuff that I have found out and I'm here to tell you all about those companies that do not deserve your money. Okay, it might just be like £10 to you, but that's £10 from someone else, £10 from someone else. Like if I got a tenner from all my subscribers, I'd be I'd be rolling in it. I'd be naked on a faux bare skin rug rolling in my pounds. It's not as sexy as I thought that was gonna be. I've done a few anti-haul videos and um, they usually get me into trouble. I did one on Killstar, I will link it at the end of this video. I did one on a brand called Interremodius, Iron Fist, Vimpoke, Gintiac. Actually I will link them all in the description below. I like to break down the barriers of oh this looks really cool everyone's wearing it I want it. To find out the darker side. And unfortunately, a lot of these companies do have a darker side. A lot of bad stuff has come out of my anti-haul videos. I have been threatened to be sued twice, I think, by Teen Hearts and Interremodius. They both threatened to sue me. Interremodius called me a bitch. So let's see how this one goes, shall we? Because this girl is always going to tell you the truth. So let's just get into the tea. I don't have tea. Got water. So I know you guys have heard of Dolls Kill. I've shopped with them many times. I've promoted them on my channel before. They actually were one of my favourite brands. I do want to start off by saying that some of these facts I have found online. I'm only going by what the customer have said, what the people have said, what I have found. Some of these things in this video are from my own personal experience and I can tell you that they are 110% true. Some of these are from a few years ago but that doesn't make them any less relevant. From what I could find it's the same people running the company. No matter how you look at it this is a lot, a lot of controversy for one company. So please bear that in mind. Let's do this. Dolls kill wholesale brands as well as have their own. They have Demonia, Lazy Oaf, Killstar. So if you want to shop with those brands, you can shop directly at other stores. Like you can buy Lazy Oaf from many other stores. You don't have to buy it from Dolls Kill. But Dolls Kill do also have their own brands that you can only buy from Dolls Kill. Uh. They know how to get you, don't they? They have House of Widow, Sugar Thrills, Current Mood. There are a couple that you probably would have heard of that are all under the Dolls Kill umbrella. This is something that grinds my gears so much. I don't understand how you can be a designer or an artist and go around stealing other people's work. Smaller designers where that money pays for their rent, their bills, their kids, is not buying another, another swimming pool in Dubai. So this has been proven over and over and over again with this company. Stealing designs from other artists seems to be a very regular thing for Dolls Kill. Art stealing is a big, big problem with alternative brands in general. A lot of them, Killstar do it. It's not just Dolls Kill, but Dolls Kill are quite notorious for doing it. And just because other brands do it, it doesn't make it right. Two of the most recent ones that I've seen, this set, this black and white widow spider set. Now when I first saw this, I actually really loved this and I contemplated getting it, I was like, but then I was like, I don't think I'll wear it, I, don't, I wouldn't wear it, I wouldn't wear it. It was quite pricey, it was like a bit more money than I would rather, than I would spend on essentially like a crop top and a tutu. Someone sent me this screenshot, it is a rip off of a vintage Betsy Johnson set. So the original Betsy Johnson has the corseting down the front, it's even got the little frills at the bottom of the crop top, it's got the underskirt. I mean the, the Dolls Hill one is a gorgeous design, as I said I was considering buying it. You've just stolen a design, changed the colours and slapped your name on it. Next one, because we got a few. So more recently in the art feveriness, they stole Black Friday's face. You know YouTuber Black Friday, if you don't? Gasp! Yes. They stole her face. They put her face on a widow top, dress, and skirt. I, I saw this on Instagram and I couldn't quite believe it. Come on, you can tell it's her. I could tell it was her before I saw the picture of her there. It's her face shape, it's definitely her. And then when they were confronted, they claimed ignorance and said that they had outsourced an artist and not realized that they had put her 
face. Her face. Can you imagine waking up and your face is on something like a dildo? And there was nothing you could do about it because they outsourced an artist who had done it. It could happen. I mean, come the fuck on, Bridget. You know that's Black Friday. You can tell that's Black Friday. I mean, Dolls Kill and It's Black Friday have collabed together, so you can't tell me they don't know who she is because they've, well, they've not scissored, but they've YouTubed together. So on a couple of occasions, the Dolls Kill owner has even commissioned pieces from a small company, got the piece, and then straight up ripped it off. You cannot tell me that that is not a direct ripoff. There is nothing stopping them hiring this lady wholesale from her and then she's getting the money for the work she has done. But if they do it this way, they get more money and that's what it's about these days. It's all about the money. They stole someone's tattoo, someone's stomach. So this is the original design by Sad Boy Tattoo Artist. It got put onto a shirt that Dolls Kill sold. Luckily the artist realized and confronted them and I believe it got taken off sale. And even if it was another, another outsourced, the designer did it, we didn't realize. Do better checks on your designers. So I'm just gonna chuck up a few more screenshots of the original with the Dolls Kill copy. You might have to pause some of these to read them as well. Some of the writing is really little. Imagine being an artist and spending hours, hours, days even, pouring your heart and soul into a piece you hope to sell so it can feed your family. And then along comes this big company. Yoink! Okay, next topic. Um, I'm just gonna put a picture of a hoodie they sold here and let you make your own mind up about it. I've tried to think of this in any way that I can and I can't get there. It's like when you're really, really drunk and you go and have sex because you're really horny, but sometimes you just can't get there. That's me in this hoodie. I'm trying, but I can't get, I can't get where this hoodie wants me to go. <laughs> Explain it to me, someone. This hoodie went out of stock only when it, they were confronted by a lot of people on social media. Personally, I don't believe it sold out of stock. I think it just, disappeared due to backlash. There have been a few cases of cultural appropriation with Dolls Kill, listing kimonos and feathered headdresses as Halloween costumes. Now I'm, I love Halloween. I'm all about DIY, making your costume, making it scary. These ain't Halloween costumes, love. And when, and when one person sent them an email and said, look, this isn't right. They replied. I can confirm that they do write to you like this because I dealt with customer service last year or the year before and they do write like this and it 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 was like it was like talking to a 13 year old that doesn't really understand life but you know one day they're gonna get a smack in the face when life just like hits them. That's what it's like talking to. Hey doll! <laughs> hey doll! The last thing Dolls Kill would be slash represent, oh God, I can't even talk like that, is racist. We love and value individuality and originality. Our company was created to represent dolls of all flavors, colors, ideals, etc. We're here for the misfits, le miss legits, and everything in between. I'm sorry if that costume offended you, but to call us racist is pretty ridiculous. I understand their side of saying that, like, it's their opinion that it wasn't racist. I'm not saying e I'm not saying that's right. I'm saying that that's their opinion. As for a professional company replying back to quite a serious email to say we're brassy, sassy, stick it up your assy kind of company, not for the easily offended norm culture. So take a chill pill and get your panties out of a bunch because it ain't that serious, cutie. Anna, shove it up your ass. That is rude AF. No, I know you're probably thinking like, how does a clothing brand promote their drugs? Dolls Kill worked out because drugs are so cool. As someone that has done all that jazz, I can tell you, drugs ain't cool. Users are losers. Now I've been around, I've done my thing, I've had my crazy days, but I still do not see how adding the idea of drugs to clothing or statuses 
is supposed to make me want to buy them. So this actually happened, I first noticed this quite a while ago when I was looking for some boots. Looking at these boots and I noticed like, okay, they got little pockets in them. What the fuck would I put in those pockets? That's literally what I thought first. And then I noticed there's a spliff sticking out of them. I do my thing, I'm not saying, I'm just saying like promoting drugs in general to a young audience is not the way for a professional business to go. Oh, what about this one? This was on Facebook. This is a Dolls Kill advert. Strapped, ready for action. And there is a pill emoji. The, the gorgeous girl is clearly at like a festival or something. And we know what goes on at festivals, but you don't have to advertise that. Sir, I do not believe that is paracetamol. Oh, what about this one? Addicted to glitter. So they sell the glitter syringes, but their advert for selling them is a girl in horrendous jeans like imitating injecting it's got a mirror or a tray in front of her with syringes on it and at first glance this looks like a drug advert i actually thought it was when i first saw it and the caption as well addicted to the glitter life oh, where are we are we are you are you still thinking you want to support doll's kill or do you want me to carry on I mean, you can just get off the video if you don't want me to carry on. I'm gonna carry on. I'm on an anti-haul mission. How about the time they allegedly dropped a model after finding out she was in a wheelchair? How about that? How about that? They later said they had overbooked the influencers, which I, I don't believe. This is funny because I actually worked with Dolls Kill. We did a YouTube video together. I found them on a sponsorship website and their advert was written all crazy like, wanna be a doll? This is when I loved Dolls Kill and I sent them a message and I was like, oh my God, I would love to work with you. And they wrote back to me, yes, we'd love to have you. And then I didn't hear from them for a few days. And then all of a sudden they said they didn't need me anymore. Got their quota of people they could pay because it was a sponsorship website. But they would send me some clothes to review if I still wanted to collab with them. You know me, I love free stuff, so obviously I said yes. And then they sent me a message saying to email them outside of this website. So if you arrange to collab inside this website, they have to pay you. So we moved our conversation to email. So after about a month of backwards and forwards, they did send me three things. You may remember the video, it's long gone now, I deleted it. Don't wanna promote the brand. So they sent me a Disturbia top, which I still have, freaking love that top. But you can buy Disturbia direct from Disturbia's website and it's cheaper, so. They also sent me a current mood jacket, which I do really like, but I got it in a medium and it didn't fit me. Like it was so tight. It definitely wasn't a medium. And they sent me a dress, which also was a medium, but oh my God, it was so freaking small. That was by Widow, um, which is Dolls Kill own brand. So if they could send me free items because they had overbooked influencers, why couldn't they have done it for her? There's also been multiple stories about staff and, and models being sacked because it's later found out they are sex workers. They are porn stars. And though Dolls Kill actively promotes the idea of strippers and sex work, they don't want to be associated with porn stars. That was one story I read. They very much cash in on the stripper vibe. They sell shoes that are made for strippers that are not stripper safe. Pleaser shoes, like the really big one. Like if you've ever worn pleaser shoes, they are not good. You will break your ankle. Just rolling in that money, and yeah. Because sex workers, we support you on this channel. We support everybody that isn't an asshole or a money grabbing prick. And then when one sex worker did confront them on Instagram or Twitter, this was their professional reply. There is a lot of controversy about Dolls Kill making money off the off sex workers and cam girls and the whole sex stripper industry and don't actually support sex workers message on instagram from somebody who sent dolls killer message regarding their selling of unsafe stripper shoes she put if you want to sell shoes that aren't going to be safe for actual use for dancers you should be piping up about the other shit making our lives unfair right now this is in regards to the fact that strippers got strippers and sex workers this was a few months ago Instagram seems to have lightened up a bit now, but they all got shadow banned on Instagram. I believe it was the hashtag stripper. If you had that hashtag, your picture did not get shared. It didn't get put on feeds. It got essentially 
blocked. But Dolls Kill were using the hashtag on some of their shoes and some of their clothing. Nothing happened to them. So it's like if you can use the hashtag and you can use that to promote your brand, why can't you speak up as a company to side with the people that you are selling clothes for and support the people that you claim you support? Like it wouldn't be hard to write a story status, how you are there for the people that buy your clothes, how you are there for the strippers and the sex workers that have been banned, but you still stand strong with all those people. But no, you just hashtag stripper and keep that money rolling in. Still supporting them? How about glamorizing mental health? Now, as someone who suffers from mental health issues, in case you couldn't tell, I am batshit crazy. This was just in such poor taste that I don't even get why you would want to buy one of these items. So Dolls Kill were selling a brand that, that had this line of mental health clothing. I mean, to be honest, it's, it's bad, but um, so they had this this black top that said anxiety on it. Now anxiety is, a lot of people think anxiety is just this excuse, this thing that, oh, I can't go out and have anxiety. Oh, oh she's using it as an excuse again. Somebody who used to suffer so bad with anxiety, like I physically could not leave my house because I was so scared of what might happen like something might happen i could not leave my house and you don't know i, I didn't know what was gonna happen i was just scared shitless to leave my house so to make a joke of mental health and anxiety and things that cripple people every single fucking day to make money off that and to sell clothes off the backs of people's mental health is shitty i don't see you donating to any mental health charities either if you're profiting off not only sex workers off mental health so there was shoes earrings both horrendous why would you want them or how about this one a jacket that for dolls kill wholesaled from a brand that had a razor blade on the back and the jacket was red and it says cut above the rest i just i, I can't like if it was just one of these things i i wouldn't shop with them i would be very cautious but one thing is like it's one thing. This is multiple things on multiple occasions over many years showing that they haven't changed. They don't care. They don't care. They just want that dollar. We're coming to the end now. The last topic I'm going to talk to you about is all the other bullshit. Using pictures of clothing they don't sell. They sold a, um, they had a Nikki lipstick dress that I believe was designed by Jane Doe Latex, one of my favorite brands in the whole world. And they used her picture on their website and they didn't even sell the dress. They sold a copied version of the dress, but they used her picture of her in the original to make you think, oh, Nikki lipstick has her dress. No, she doesn't. She has the original you sell the copy. There have been a few occasions of people receiving moldy shoes. Not a little bit moldy, like a lot moldy. Clearly wasn't checked before it was sent out. There was someone recently on Twitter who claimed they'd found a used sanitary pad in their order. My guess is that it was returned. It was a returned order. It wasn't checked and it just got put back on the shelf and someone else bought that item and they just went, they just went over, picked it up and packaged it and sent it. I mean, I know I'd be going loopy loop if I'd opened a box and there was someone's dirty pad in there. And if that was you who sent it back, you nasty. There are so many reviews online of just shoes falling apart. People not receiving their orders. If you buy them from the UK, you will get a customer charge. Last year I ordered, I ordered a hoodie and it cost like 25 quid and then I had to pay half that to just give it to my house. Fuck you, customs. So, so many reviews online, things arriving broken, shoes not lasting. This is something that happens in the world of fast fashion which Dolls Kill is a fast fashion brand. Things get pumped out so quickly, they don't have the, the same awareness as older brands do. Their platforms are just glued on. My friend had some current mood boots where the back came off. It's just shit, isn't it? For the price as well. How would you like to spend hundred pound or more than that 
on a nice pair of boots. They come, you wear them three times, and the heel comes off. We ain't playing, Dolls Kill! And, they, and I said earlier, the customer service is horrendous. Telling people not to get their panties in a bunch. Take, take a chill pill. Mate, if I'm writing to you to complain that I'm already in some level of anger that I am complaining, and then you replying, Boo, don't get your panties in a bunch. What if I am wearing panties? And they write like, boobs and baby. It's like, bitch, I'm trying to complain! Be professional, be helpful. There is a time and a place for you to keep your, your 13 year old girl, hey babes, aesthetic. Customer service writing back to serious emails is not that time. You can also check on YouTube. There are more and more reviews on YouTube of the shitty, the shittiness of Dolls Kill. If you search on YouTube for Boycott Dolls Kill, you will find a lot of similar stories to what I have just told you. More and more people are realizing that this company doesn't deserve your money. There is so much more, like honestly so much more with this company. Very strongly recommend that you check out for yourself, check out the hashtag boycott dolls kill. Because I've, you know this isn't the end of it. You know they're just gonna keep going around in this vicious cycle of stealing designs, promoting things they shouldn't be promoting, and being a shitty company. Former employees have actually written on Glassdoor about how, in particular, a lot of them said the owner was rude, a lot of them. Like, I don't want to support a rude bit. There was a few reviews on there of people that still work there now and they're saying that it's low pay and it's long hours. It's like, for a company that made however, like millions last year, you can afford to pay your workers. A lot of the reviews on there from staff said there is very high staff turnover as well. That always makes me very wary of a company. If a company's good to work for, they won't have high staff turnover. And actually, while I was looking into these reviews, I found nine jobs nine jobs going at various parts of the Dolls Kill factory work area. It sounds like they sell you the dream of working at Dolls Kill and then they underpay you, they overwork you, and just the, re the, the staff reviews were really, really bad. So I'm gonna end this video with something I saw on Facebook that summed up everything perfectly. Every time someone says, I don't wanna support Dolls Kill or their brands, but nowhere else does my aesthetic, okay. I can literally tell you so many brands that will do similar things to what you can see on Dolls Kill. Probably the originals that Dolls Kill have stolen from. So when you say that you can't buy clothes anywhere else because Dolls Kill is the only place that fits your aesthetic, it literally translates is that you're okay to support a brand that discriminates, promotes things they don't stand by themselves, promotes drug use, promotes mental health in not a positive way, in like a fashion way. It translates as it's okay to support a brand like that because you want to look cute. And that's really shitty. So does Dolls Kill really, really deserve your money? Just have a little think about it and maybe think next time you see an advert for them. I made this video to hopefully get out there and to use my platform a bit to tell you that not all what glitters is gold. Some of it is spray painted shit. And unfortunately I think this brand is a big turd. boobs I hope you enjoyed this video you know I know you guys enjoy my anti haul and I'll let you know what kind of repercussions I get from this I'd love to know your opinions on dolls kill have you had any bad experiences have you had good experiences I want to know everything in the comments down below I do have a video on my channel of good brands to support I will have another one coming up at some point but if you want to know some more positive representing companies that do deserve your money, I will link that at the end of this video. But that is it, boobies. Thank you so, so much for watching this, even if you watched it just to see what shit I was jabbering on about. And I will see you very soon with another video. Much love, boobs. Take care of yourself, and most of all, stay weird.